a class where students uh, must be uncreative and unoriginal. And if they are creative and if they are original, they get marked down in their grades. So um, they quickly learn how to be uh, uncreative. So they must uh, appropriate, they must plagiarize, they must not write anything original, um, they must not pretend that anything they're writing is original, um, they must claim texts uh, for their own that aren't theirs. Um, and uh, my students are very good writers already, so I don't need to make them better writers, but they're very bad stealers because uh, they've been stealing for so long that they've never thought about what they're stealing and why they're stealing it. Um, and so this forces them to theorize their theft and make them smarter and better. Because really at this point, nobody uh, is original. Nobody should be original anymore. Um, it's, it's, it's the way that they're putting together pre-existing information um, that's, that is really moving forward in the future. There's no turning the clock back. Yeah, well, it's the same thing. I mean, I don't write anything. I don't write my own books. No, I mean, I just get interested in something and then I, I, I either transcribe it or copy it. Well, uh, the, the uh, author is no longer a... Uh, the, uh, the, the, the notion of genius has changed. Uh, genius is no longer an isolated figure in a garret. Instead, uh, genius is somebody who is assembling things in the world that have already been made and putting them together in new ways. And so it's the, you know, it's, I actually think of it like a hip-hop DJ. Nobody ever said to a hip-hop DJ, you didn't play the drums on those tracks. Right? Of course he doesn't play the drums, but he's got the best drum samples. And the way he puts them together with the best bass samples is going to make him the best DJ. And uh, that's actually kind of the way people are writing now. Um, no need to write anything new. I think the paradigm of the hip-hop DJ is uh, the way writing's moving forward. In 1959, a uh, poet named Brian Geisen said that uh, poetry was 50 years behind painting. Um, you know, the art world has is, is long been open to other strategies that writing has never even experimented with. Say, appropriation. It's very old-fashioned in the writing world or even the music world with samples. And now literature is now just getting to it. You know, sort of a hundred years after Marcel Duchamp, literature is finally taking a Duchampian strategy. So I, I'd say it's pretty, pretty slow, pretty far behind right now. Um, no, they're all part of uncreative writing. They're all different strategies within, within uncreative writing. What isn't part of uncreative writing would be pastiche or taking a line from here or there. You know, that's not plagiarism. Plagiarism is actually taking something in its entirety, again, like Duchamp, and moving it from this place to this place, and therefore it's new and it's different, even though you didn't do anything to it, you changed its context. So appropriation moves in holes, not fractions and not fragments. Fragments are no longer interesting. It's consensual. It's like an S and M club. We all agree to play roles, and uh, and 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 we play those roles. And so it's consensual, and uh, nobody gets hurt. Uh, no animals were harmed in the making of an uncreative writer. It's all fantasy. I don't think we can understand audience anymore. I think there was a time uh, in which one could assume that there was an audience. Now, the audience is so big and so thin that we don't really uh, have any sense of who we're speaking to. And I don't really think we're speaking to anybody. I don't think anybody's paying attention, really. I think we're paying attention to headlines and tweets 
and things that move very quickly, but I don't think we're really engaging with content in the same way that we once engaged with content. And I don't think that's good or bad. I just think it's a new situation. And uh, there's nothing, you know, we can, there's no, no point complaining about it because that's the way it is. So I just prefer to try to adjust myself to it. And uh, that's, I think, my, it's, my, it's my problem, not the media, not the, 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 the culture's problem. Oh, I mean, I do write the text of my daily online routine. I think the new memoir is our browser history. You want to know anything about me? Look at my browser history. You'll know everything about me. So, um, you know, I mean, I'm just online all the time. I'm never offline. I get depressed when I'm offline. I feel dead when I'm not connected to the web. Well, it's, it's all stored, isn't it? It's all, all the, memor all the memor memory is on my hard drive or on, my, on the cloud or, you know, on my Twitter feed. Um, I'm not worried about it because, un un unfortunately, or for better or worse, you know, everything is archived now. And, uh, you know, every performance is archived. Everything is photographed. There's going to be no problem with remembering. I don't have to remember because the web does it too well for me. If I need them, I can... Google them. I can Google my memories better than I can remember them. And uh, so, so I don't have, now I don't have to keep it here. It's all there. <laughs> <laughs>